sometimes I'll take that, internalize it, make it into something that it, you know, that maybe she's not, she's just trying to be nice to me, but I take it like, oh, you know, fuck that, she's being me, you know, she's, you know, putting me down, she's, you know, calling me fat and this and that. Even though I look at myself in the mirror and I, I'll grab my belly and be like, look at this fucking fat ass. And that's what I call myself. This, this is how I look at myself. I don't, I'm not putting that on anybody else. I'm not calling anybody else that. I'm talking about myself. So before, you know, the sensitive people out there, oh, you're calling people fat. Uh, no, 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 I'm calling myself me. Me, JC, I'm calling myself fat. But, um, you know, I don't know, man. I, I just got to find a way. I got to find a way, man. And I take, you know, pills in the morning. And, but taking pills in the morning and not going to the gym ain't going to help you. The biggest, the biggest thing that can help me is zipping my mouth shut. Maybe I should break my jaw so they can wire it shut. I don't know. Um, I don't know, man. And I'm going to tell you this, man. Three years ago, I had lipo. And that's when I looked the best because I did go to Costa Rica. This is what I went to Costa Rica for initially, and that's how I met my wife. I met her after I got my liposuction. So I was like at 100 and then, what, 100 and. 50, 100, maybe 100, almost 60, 160 pounds, which is just about where I needed to be. I was wearing smalls, man. Now my mediums are starting to fit tight, and I don't like it. I don't like it at all because I refuse to imagine myself wearing larges, man. Because once I get into large, for me, I'm going over the hill to something else, and I don't want to go there. So, you know, this is my, this is my struggle, aside from work. And, you know, either not having it or looking for it and so on and so forth. So there's a lot of stuff that's going on that, you know, that is heavier in the aspect of like, well, you got you got more issues than that. You got like financial issues. But my concern, you know, because financial stuff, I ain't worried about it because work will come. You know, there's work out there, even though I know we're not in the best you know, economic situation. But I know I'll find work. You know, the thing is, learning how to con have self-control to not gain weight, to not eat the things that I love eating. You know, when everyone's eating, you know, gallo pinto, which is rice and beans, Costa Rican stuff. You know, eating pinto with, you know, you know, eggs and sausage in the morning and stuff like that. To control myself and be like, you know what, I'll just have a cup of oatmeal. And I eat oatmeal without sugar. I, you know, yeah, people put like brown sugar. <laughs> You know, unless I go to Jamba Juice, I, I Jamba Juice's oatmeal is really bland if you don't have anything in it. So I'll put like just one layer of like brown sugar crumble with bananas. But uh, maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I gotta stay away from that sugar, man. I don't know. It's just fucking hard. So, and I know a lot of you guys out there understand my struggle, man. So once I, I'm gonna formulate what it is I can do, man. Like I saw Fusi, and I keep on referring back to him because, like I said, it's probably one of the only, one of the one of the YouTubers that I watched the most, and I saw him go through his 90-day transformation. But he had assistance. And what I mean by assistance, I mean, he was on, I mean, he had meal plans. He had all this stuff going on. I mean, like, he was working with someone. I don't have that. I don't have the luxury. I don't have that financial luxury to do that. If I could, oh, bet your ass I would. But I can't. So I'm, I'm slowly trying to figure out what is the best way for me to do this. Is it going back to Costa Rica and doing lipo again? Is it kind of sucking it up and going, all right, dude, just do what you got to do? Um, still don't know. I'm still in that wonderland, if you would. But anyways, with that being said, my people out there, <laughs> Warriors, two more to go. Go Dubs. Dub Nation in the house, man. You know, strength in numbers. Um, I know I'm jumping from subject to subject, but, you know, I just want to say that before I, sh I, I close this out. Um, sorry for not blog vlogging this, this uh, morning, this afternoon. Like I said, just been really busy. Um, I'm looking into getting a camera, man. If, if, even, if even just a little, like, something to, you know, to vlog with, you know, without using my phone as much, I'm going to, you know, do look into that. Um... Anyways, man, I just want to say thank you for all those people who subscribed. You know, if, you know, if you can, like, comment, and subscribe. You know, it's, that's all I'm asking from everybody is just, you know, do what you got to do and, and, you know, keep it coming, man. Because, you know, I, I do appreciate those people who have subscribed and do follow and who do like my, 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 uh, my, my, my videos here because, you know, 
I do it for myself and I do it for everybody, man. I do it for the people out there. And I'm trying to be as positive as po possible to show, you know, to show that, you know, even though life is tough at any age, you know, when you get to a certain point in your life, 40 is a different game, man. It changes everything. Even though they say 40 is a new 30. Bullshit. 40 is 40. It all depends how you feel in here. And currently, 